all right so let's take a look at the express lrs settings that we can access with the latest version of opentx firmware for the flysky i6 x radio transmitter and to do that we will enter the model setup and under the external rf settings once we select crossfire as the main protocol we can either select just the crossfire protocol or express lrs in the previous version we only had crossfire and now we have the option to make changes to the express lrs uh, settings so let me power on the module so firstly we can see what version of express lrs we have on our transmitter module so i'm running version 1.1 and i'll be updating to version 2 very soon then we have the packet rate so we can select 25 50 hertz 100 hertz and 200 hertz so the r9m is a 900 megahertz system the maximum packet rate that we can use is 200 hertz if you have a 2.4 gigahertz module then you can select up to 500 hertz then we have the telemetry ratio if you're not using telemetry or if you don't want to use telemetry you can set this to off then the lowest you can select is 1 is to 128 so the telemetry will be updated at a very slow rate and as you increase the number or the ratio you get much faster updates from the flight controller so we'll take a look at that in the later half and the RF frequency is displayed over here if you want you can adjust the channel range and then we have the option to change the power level so in the previous version where we did not have the option to adjust the power the default was at 10 milliwatts and that's one of the reason why in my previous videos the rssi value was fluctuating a lot so let me power on the receiver So currently I'm at 10 milliwatts and the RSSI reading that I'm getting is 74. If I set this to 25 milliwatts, the RSSI is at about 82. And if I increase to 50 milliwatts, the RSSI is at about 87. And at 100 milliwatts, the RSSI is at 92. And at 250 milliwatts, which is the highest uh, for the R9M, the RSSI value is 99. So if I want, I can enable the high output power option while flashing Express LRS. But for that, I'll need a fan mod. And I plan to do that in the future. And now let's take a look at the telemetry ratio and how it affects the telemetry in the radio transmitter. So the lowest rate that we can select is 1 is to 128. So so for example, let's take a look at the flight modes and currently it's at standby. So so if I flick the switch for my flight mode to uh, horizon it's still not updated in the radio transmitter
and now you can see uh, horizon so the rate at which the telemetry is being updated is a lot slower so let's try to increase the telemetry ratio and see how it affects let's try 1 is to 16 so now it's much quicker let's try and decrease the packet rate and see how that affects the telemetry ratio if it does so I've lost the connection so depending on what packet rate you select you might have to adjust the telemetry ratio as well and this is how you can change the settings for your express LRS transmitter module uh, if you're using OpenTX firmware for the FlySky FSI6X radio transmitter now one thing that I'd like to highlight is if you're using express LRS with this radio transmitter and you have a R9M and you want to power the transmitter module then don't use a fully charged 3S LiPo because if you do that you will fry the voltage converter on this thing in my last flight I actually connected a fully charged 3S LiPo and the second voltage regulator on the circuit fried so because of that I'm not able to get the link quality in my OST but other than that the transmitter module is working fine in my upcoming video I'll show how to flash express LRS on the R9M module and even the R9MX receiver flashing express LRS on this module is a lot easier but I had major trouble trying to flash express LRS on the R9MX receiver and Mr. Mariano was extremely helpful and he helped me with the process mainly because we don't have the SD card functionality on this radio transmitter so it's not possible to update the firmware from the radio transmitter like you can do with some of the expensive radio transmitters so we have no other choice but to use a STM USB device and if you do that you cannot flash the original FRSky firmware on the module or the receiver so that's one thing and even after flashing express LRS on the receiver successfully I wasn't able to update or make any changes using the beta flight pass through method so I had to change the bootloader file on the receiver so those are some of the things that I'd like to address in the upcoming videos so that's about it I hope you found this video helpful and thanks a lot for watching